Okay, so downspouts. Uh, I write this up as a defect because there's a history of this basement leaking, first of all. We have a lot of clay soil here in southeastern Michigan, which is another cause of leaky basements because water won't pass through it. Uh, instead of passing through the clay soil and going down to the center of the earth, it turns and goes into your basement because the clay soil blocks it. Anyway, what is that? Three and a half feet, whatever it is. So I always tell people, look, you need to go to Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever store is near you and you buy a 10 foot length of four inch PVC pipe because it's the same price, schedule 40, because it's the same price pretty much as schedule 30. You cut off six inches or a foot, whatever you need. So that six inches or a foot goes up on the downspout, then you, an elbow, then you, the other nine and nine feet or nine and a half feet goes out into your yard. You dig a trench, it goes in the trench, another elbow and it comes up and you put your cap on there. I like the one with a grill on it with holes in it, not the pop-up because there's moving parts. If you can do the same thing without moving parts, do it that way. The fewer moving parts, the better. I told an engineer that one time, I was inspecting his house and he goes, what you just said is the, scent, is the essence of engineering. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'll take it. Sounds good. You might hit some roots here because there's a tree, but it could be done if you have an ax or a chainsaw. But that's the way to do it. So then you're far enough away from the house. You have good grade here. It's going toward the street. The water will run away from the house. So that's it. That's what you tell your customers.